Our next speaker, also from the National Archives of Estonia, is Kulika Pichwe. Welcome. The floor is yours. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, it's, it's very nice to see you again. And uh, let's start uh, our today's presentation uh, before uh, starting. I uh, uh, have to say that uh, every work can be taken as a change uh, to participate in lifelong uh, learning. It uh, shows very well to the conservator the advantage of reversibility. And uh, Jan's speech uh, showed uh, our doings, uh, the site was uh, from outside to inside. Uh, now I do the opposite and uh, telling or and showing also what do we feel. Uh, then it's uh, the site from inside to outside. And so let's start. Uh, my name is Kylike Pihkva, and I have been working for the National Archives of Estonia as a paper conservator since 1999. Mm, a little prologue uh, for today's presentation. Uh, reading the announcement of this conference, at first some words and sentences grabbed my attention. And uh, so it was my uh, voila moment when I understood that during my today's presentation, those fragments of the text that grabbed my eye will be presented at the top of the slides as uh, chart anchors. Uh, what uh, made me uh, made the presentation in different way, uh, because usually reading the announcements uh, give an idea for a speech or for a poster presentation, uh, mostly as a description of some certain work or project. Uh, however, this time it made me think about a bit different approach. What if I share the conservator's inner monologue instead? Uh, because usually the feelings and the inner emotions of the conservator remain rather hidden. Uh, and so what? If I ask what does the other conservators uh, might feel uh, if uh, they were facing the same problem. Uh, that's why, because, because that fact, uh, today when I share my reasoning and hidden jokes caused by artifacts treated, it would be nice if I get uh, direct uh, feedback from the audience. Uh, for that, please switch uh, on your phone already and be ready to use the Mentimeter. Activate uh, your phone or download the Mentimeter. But don't worry, there is only one question. And uh, hope you accept that and uh, join me. Or at least, let's try. Let's see what will happen. And those are the inspiring fragments. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm clumsy. Yep, here it is. The following is a subjective uh, opinion. The inner empirical introspection, mostly in the form of a monologue. Uh, reality at the archives I work for is that a wide range of materials have been used for repairing paper materials. Some have not always been made of the same material as the object. It means uh, not from paper at all. Uh, some previous repairs have caused uh, damage to the object and must be removed. Also, in addition, the method of repair may have been unsuitable and cause the damage. So, uh, we are reaching closer to the reversibility and non-reversibility. Uh, there are some contradictions in the field of paper conservation. Uh, for example, centuries old repairs made on even older paper materials uh, than people usually see often do not show any undesirable aesthetic 
physical or chemical changes. On the contrary, some materials that have been used for repairing paper materials may begin showing unwanted or unexpected changes in their properties during the aging process. Despite materials made in the recent past using modern materials. So different aspects should be taken into consideration before making your decisions as a conservator. Uh, let's see achievements. Are they achievements or not? Well, it depends on the many factors. Preservation, conservation and preventive preservation are the key factors in ensuring the best preservation of collections of our national heritage in the form of written memory. When needed, previous staff members of the archives have made necessary repairs. Sometimes, of course, repairs have been done by previous owners or caretakers uh, of their uh, damaged papers before those papers had reached to the archives. Everyday work has shown that, unfortunately, achievement is not the best descriptive word for previously used glues and binding methods too often. Let the following uh, photos uh, speak for that. Uh, working for archives, uh, it's uh, actually a constant workflow. Uh, what is the feeling? Uh, too often uh, the feeling is just like hamster running in the field, non-stop. Non uh, because a need for conservation has always existed to ensure the good care of paper materials. Uh, but unfortunately, some of those do not accord with today's repairing conservation or digitization standards. And tools uh, have been removed, for example, uh, when uh, the text is heightened. Uh, even if it's uh, partially heightened, uh, it's a problem. Uh, sometimes problems arise in such a conservation lab during the removal or during the attempts to remove those poor quality or uh, even non-reversible materials or when solving the problems caused, caused by the poor or, should we say, weird quality binding methods. And what are the feelings? Uh, the same. Uh, mostly it's a hamster feeling. But uh, let's look at some positive aspects. Uh, you feel good when uh, construct workflow teach you to be effective. Uh, sometimes uh, the mass treatment is efficient, as I, we saw from Jan's uh, presentation already. Uh, it depends, of course, uh, about the damage, but uh, we have often such kind of uh, damage that uh, allows uh, us to treat them uh, as mass treatment. And in such a case, when efficiency is, uh, can be done, it seems to be a very close relative to reversibility. I hope you agree. Uh, and well, uh, struggling when uh, removing this kind of repairs uh, where glue does not allow the easygoing treatment using the water-based uh, moisture, uh, just a good lesson. Uh, keyword, it's of course uh, struggling or the emotion. Oh, again, uh, this again is uh, cheerful, really pretty depressed. It depends from the glue, of course, and from the media also. Uh, so, uh, lessons uh, uh, can be given by materials themselves. In the photo on the top, high acryl gel and gel treatment is uh, shown. Uh, by the way, high acryl gel is more hungry 
uh, as uh, low acrylic and gel, and it's, uh, it's efficient to, to use. Sometimes if the media allows, and mostly it's possible. Of course, you can use Coratex. Also, the double effect. And we already have a pretty long experience working with scales, so they are really magical uh, helpers to the conservator. But uh, look at here, now the feelings, maybe the well uh, again, or uh, on the other hand, it's a real conservation that makes the conservat uh, feel good because the preparing work can be very monotonous or even boring. But on those cases, uh, you feel yourself like a conservator again. Uh, so during the preparations for digitization, various questionable quality of work has been encountered. Uh, how to call those repairs, being nice, polite, uh, and neutral? Uh, maybe shortly said, remain professional, Maybe they are work accidents. And now I ask you to open your Mentimeter, please. Uh, and please uh, ask uh, shortly, only one word is okay. What would you think or feel when uh, you see such kind of repair, if, if you were a paper conservator? And to enter, please, uh, use the code from the screen or the QR code, it depends what kind of phone you have. I already see there is a variety of emotions and feeling, and most, uh, of course, it's, uh, it's like in real uh, life. Uh, sometimes you feel more energy to deal with that. Sometimes, of course, uh, maybe you leave uh, that kind of example for tomorrow, when it's a better day, hopefully. I'm pretty glad that I don't see a praise by by conservation here. So it's inspiring. It's a positive. And how many paper conservators we have here? Yes, very good. Also, do you want to become a paper conservator? It's why? It's, it's interesting, actually. Uh, it's a main problem. Uh, most people think that paper uh, repairing is something that can be done uh, by everybody using everything what uh, you have. And indeed, we see it. Uh, there was were even some plastic, uh, which you use uh, usually for covering your uh, kitchen table, where you prepare your meat for cooking or, for example, pieces from uh, bed lining or even night dress. So are, we have seen everything. So I think everybody showed their inner feeling. Thank you. I will, I will save it. So please, IT team, help me to save it. Thank you. Still. Now, let's go on. Uh, changes. Uh, oh, no, uh, positive aspect uh, at first. Uh, a wide range of sustain sustainable methods, materials, and solutions are available for repairing paper, happily also. Uh, here, for example, 
so a postage, uh, postage uh, stamp was used for repairs. And in this case, feelings are, of course, positive. Yes, uh, washing probably, the real conservation. Yuhu, let's do it. But on some days, uh, the reversibility has not often been the main principle to follow, if you look at uh, what uh, you see. And the fact how easy and uh, how quick the removal of old repairs can be without causing uh, damage to the object being treated, or whether is it even possible to make a plan without the potential risk of damage being caused to the object. Uh, it depends greatly on the materials and methods selected by the person who made those uh, repairs. On photos, uh, you see both thick and thin self-adhesive uh, filmoplast have been used for repairing. And uh, about the feelings, uh, I'm afraid I'm sorry, but I can't repeat loud what did I think when so choose repairs the first time. And uh, we had them a lot. Is it the damage or something else? Uh, maybe we can call it to, as a neglected item. Uh, poor quality repairing technique, definitely. And uh, now look at the upper photo on the right. Uh, the migration of ink uh, is caused by filmoplast. It happens pretty often. Uh, really, do we can uh, call it just aesthetical unacceptable uh, mistake. Um, I, I think uh, no. And because uh, poisonous xylene uh, or toluene uh, can be used uh, for removing that kind of uh, film of plast, not water, as uh, uh, official paper is talking. And uh, the experience is shown that the thicker one is uh, much more easier to remove than the transparent one. The transparent is uh, the real nightmare. Uh, and again, about negative aspects, what we have seen, maybe, uh, oh my God, it's time to show that. Uh, those are happenings where, where the damage uh, shows its uh, ugliest, uh, ugliest face. Uh, unfortunately, at first sight, uh, innovative, fast, and efficient materials and methods might show their unexpected, non-intentional side effects during their aging. Uh, yes, usually serious damage takes time to occur, but uh, some unwanted changes can occur pretty quickly, especially if the room where the item is being stored uh, fails to provide uh, suitable environmental conditions for the storage of paper material. It is important. Uh, but challenges. In a similar way to the growth and development in other sectors, the field of conservation restoration is full of discoveries, challenges, and also lessons given by the professional field itself, as we have already seen. The decision-making stage is uh, one of the most important part of the conservator's responsibility, uh, despite uh, remaining invisible. Sure, it must be taken place before one starts repairing. Uh, and uh, sure, all pros and cons should be calculated well, just like when planning the removal of the repair that has caused the problem. Indeed, it is the responsibility of the conservator to choose and use the best, most suitable and sustainable methods and possibilities from the wide range of materials available. Our example of reusing student is a good uh, example also, because as we already teached same during uh, uh, pretty long weeks and months, so uh, it was the time to show his uh, skills, and, and he managed very well. Uh, 
Recent paper repairing materials have been produced by using modern technologies and materials. Uh, but when uh, unwanted or unexpected side effects uh, of repairs might have appeared, it uh, can be found that reversibility is not their main characteristics. The use of modern materials has frequently have been a reason for the occurrence of damage and serious damage. And damage, of course, uh, it's a problem. Uh, probably every conservat, uh, especially paper conservat uh, here, has similar examples uh, to mine photos from the practical experience. Uh, choose improving clonage and preventing unwanted changes through lifelong cloning is essential. And uh, there can be asked the questions. Why conservators have used non-reversible damage-causing uh, materials uh, and methods for repairing papers? Sure, those repairs have been done on its own time using the modern materials available on the market. And the repairs were performed with the imaging that they may cause uh, that kind of damage in future. And uh, uh, yes, some materials and methods are traditional and well-known. Uh, but uh, it may happen that even using a traditional reversible glue uh, to repair the wrong type of material or the layer of the glue is too thick uh, can cause damage. In the worst case scenario, the condition of the object might change to poor. Uh, and probably it was the time pressure caused by the controlled economy of times uh, when instead of the quality of the work, uh, the amount uh, of work uh, was the aim. Feelings. No problem. Let's do it. It's a conservation. And we have gills and cortex and our skills and motivation. Uh, but hmm, it can, can't be underestimated uh, the fact that uh, potential risk uh, poses to the health of conservators when using chemical substances for removing unsuitable repairs, for example. And along with the aesthetical aspects when selecting the materials and methods to be used in conservation, safety should also be given consideration during planning. When possible, preference should be given to green chemistry and resource-saving methods instead of wasteful. So, uh, here is an example from my colleague's uh, work uh, when uh, she took uh, that uh, archival item. She uh, understood that uh, many, many years ago, she was the person who put those sheets together. It was her binding work. And uh, now she realized that on those times, uh, they had to use PVA to work better, glue better. And indeed, those sheets are now glued together. And she has a problem. Uh, and it was very clear that the reversibility is not the main principle, uh, and she just uh, had to combine her physical uh, strength and uh, our methods uh, to separate sheets. And uh, often uh, the result is not too nice, and we have to repair it again. And uh, so uh, it's a, a good lesson that uh, we should take care uh, that, uh, about the well-being of the future colleagues, uh, because it's uh, one of the hallmarks uh, of true professionalism. Uh, well, the everyday task of conservator, including uh, learning from observation and from the experience of colleagues, in order to make the best decision possible and be efficient at the same time. 
having an established professional network is a big bonus, especially if you use it and if you analyze what, uh, what you do, what you see. Something about achievements also. If the analyzing site belongs to the person who understands the dynamic and interactions of occurring the damage, material science, environmental conditions, and similar, it helps to ascertain alarming factors. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, after the damage uh, has uh, identified and conserved the first step, toward saving the item is performed and the solution finding phase can start. Uh, when the binding problem is discovered and the condition of the object is poor, it's also time to act. Uh, act as quickly you can uh, to find best materials and methods uh, or uh, selecting uh, the safest methods uh, to remove uh, those repairs. Uh, and uh, of course, sometimes it's not the easiest task. Here, the bone glue was used. On worst cases, there is PVA inside uh, also. And if possible, keep uh, treatment uh, simple. Sometimes you can use uh, just uh, mechanical separation. And uh, now there is another question, let, let me touch it shortly. Why do we have the name of the conservat uh, on the exhibitions uh, where, when there is an object that is conserved? Or uh, how many memory institutions have on their own homepages uh, their uh, conservation department's doings? It should be useful uh, because uh, if uh, uh, some student looking for practical place, uh, it, uh, it might help. So. And the final conclusion, uh, for a dedicated conservator, challenges and problems, awaiting solutions are motivators. Maybe that leads close to the state of uh, work happiness. <laughs> And uh, the practice uh, teach uh, value reversible materials. And uh, when possible, please uh, use it and prefer it. Because it's not equivalent, sorry, it's not equivalent. It's not the same time, it's longer time. To say a remarkably, remarkably long time, that needs to be spent when non-reversible repairs have to be removed. So, uh, conservation is not only the manual skills. That or Thank you, Kulke, for your um, presentation. And I think that uh, you highlighted two very important ideas that one of them uh, is uh, that we have to look uh, uh, for the well-being of our future colleagues. And uh, uh, sharing is caring, so it's very important to, uh, to know, and uh, especially for the students. So thank you very much. I hope so. so. Sorry for wasting your time. I was too talkative.